Right. Talking about balancing the gimbal, as you can see, this is almost balanced. Um, to check this is, is just to shake it every now and again and see if it is balanced or not. Um, the pitch is not always perfect with this zoom lens because it keeps going in and out. So uh, be aware of that. If it's slightly back heavy, it's not so, not much of a problem. The roll, I've got um, a bit of blue tack on the side and some car tire weights. These are fairly cheap. Two strips for two pounds. The reason why I do this is because once it's in a position where it can be perfectly balanced, less energy is used to keeping that position. And also it helps in the wind because um, it doesn't buffer as much when you're doing um, video at, like, at reasonably high winds. Now I've got this front weight which basically is um, yeah, 37 to 46 millimeter step up ring and 8 millimeter ND filter and UV filter and a 46 to 52 step up ring for those graduated filters. All in all it's 31 grams at the front and seems to be weighting pretty reasonably. Here's a quick look at my 12 millimeter my Osmo. It's quite balanced now. I have one five gram weight on the short end of this arm. See that? And and two five gram weights here on the long end. Now the twelve millimeter is about 150, 153 grams which is a much heavier weight than my 14 to 42 millimeter lens which is around about 90 plus the front um, weights all in around about 123 grams and for the 12 millimeter it's very similar to the stock DJI uh, lens and I have the 10 gram weight at the back here which makes it perfectly balanced. Here we have my stock DJI 15mm lens. Um, at the front I have something like 38 grams including this five gram weight here to counteract gimbal. I have a 10 gram weight here and I can change this to my 12 millimeter. I have the ND filter and UV filter and step up ring swapped over to the 12mm seems to be perfectly balanced for this particular gimbal. Um, weight is not an issue at the moment because this is an Osmo and I usually carry the lighter weight zoom on my drone but if I was to uh, use this lens on my drone I'll, I'll take the back weight off 
and try and get this as light as possible before fitting it onto the drone. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my look at balancing uh, the DJI gimbal for the X5 and I'll see you next time.